I linked up Festus to Emmanuel Jumbo, a renowned photographer who is also the founder behind M Studios. He's also the man behind the president's official portraits. Hi Jumbo. Hey. Hi. How are you? Ian, how are you doing? I'm very well. How are you, you doing? Good? good to see you, man. Man, so I brought to you Festus. He's a freelance photographer. I was telling you about. Hola. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> He's into photography. He wants to get a couple of nuggets of knowledge from you. So I want you guys to sit down maybe you can ask you several questions. Yeah, share your wisdom in terms of photography to him. Definitely. All right. Chai or my whiskey? <laughs> Come on in. <laughs> Emmanuel Jumbo, thank you for sitting down with me. I appreciate that. You're welcome. Sante san. Um, yeah, you're one, you're one person I always look up to. Um, you inspire me a lot uh, in the type of work that I do. So I, I'm hoping one day, I aspire one day to be just a little bit, a, 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 like a small percentage of you. So, <laughs> nah, you'll be even better than me, bro. <laughs> yeah. Um, you're doing good so far. Thank you, thank you, sir. I appreciate that. Uh, so basically, I just want uh, just to have had a few questions um, uh, concerning this business that is photography. Like, what did you do uh, to position yourself in um, in a place where you're you're a new photographer? Uh, but all of us, uh, not all of a sudden, after hard work, um, every corporate, every institution, all those personalities, all of them want Emmanuel Jumbo to be the one taking their portraits, shooting the events doing their weddings, like, how did, how did you position yourself for that? How did that come about? Uh, it's, like you said, it's, and like I mentioned earlier, it's hard work, you work hard, you, every day you shoot, like, it's your last audition, you know, like, yeah. it's, it's, you try to impress, impress yourself even, you know, all the time you have to criticize yourself, like, I look at any photo that I did, even, two weeks ago. I'll mm. be like, maybe I should have done it this way. Maybe I should have, you know, mm. it should have taken more time. I should have blah, blah. At the end of the day, like every day you want to better your skills and you present it in a very good way that this client will go and preach about you. Mm. Mm. And, and let's say 75% is skills, good work that you did, you presented. 25% mm. is your attitude too your you know your 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 the way you interact with your client mm -hmm. you know you mm -hmm. respect things you respect time mm. you know you talk to them in a very professional way you present yourself in a very and that people want to deliver mm. you know deliver on time present the product in a very good way and this and this by itself will place you in, in this industry mm apart from anybody else or apart from a lot of people because mm. photography just like any other uh, business you know there's mm -hmm. a lot of people you know so mm. if you combine all of this together mm. you guarantee that somehow people will spot you how do you um how do you come up how do you go about pricing pricing is a very tricky thing um it comes first of all you know the minute you gain experience the minute you have your name, your brand out there. In the beginning, you come in the market, you don't know anything. That's understandable. You talk to other colleagues, you know, you see other friends. You will meet in events, other photographers. You talk, you see if your work is similar, you know. You can go online, you can research online. It will tell you, like, these are the market going prices for, like, weddings, for functions, for blah, blah. So, you're trying to see yourself how where do you stand you know your your quality of work mm. if you think you're better than this person mm. then you put it up there mm. you know and you test the market uh, next meeting with uh, let's say uh, cba bank mm -hmm. you go you put this prices if they said yes that means you know you're good a client can come and ask you for, for a quote. Uh, you'll give them a quote according to considering all those things that you've mentioned. Mm. And then they will come and tell you, um, uh, I know another guy who can do the same uh, kind of work with half, half of what you're charging. 
Um, so how do you deal with that? That depends on a lot of things. For instance, okay, sometimes you don't want to let go of this job. Yeah. And how is your relationship with this client? Like, yeah. is it just a one-time thing? Just assuming it's a new client, you don't even know. It's them. a new client. Yeah. Now you look at yourself, it's like, have you done any work this week or this month? You yeah. have to do something because you awesome. need that money. You yeah. cannot be hungry. Yeah. But my advice will be like, you put them on the spot, be like, okay, so look at this person work. I look at my work and if if you think my work is not worth what I'm telling you, yeah. then you go ahead yeah. and deal with that client. Sometimes they will go, sometimes they will just by the way you tell them, yeah. they 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 will be convinced that they better stay with you because yeah. your pictures are better. Mm -hmm. What guarantee do you give them? I always try to ex to exceed their expectation. Yeah. Yeah. My guarantee is like you're gonna get good photos, you're yeah. gonna get them on time, you know. Uh, I'm you just I'm not you're gonna be happy. Marketing is very expensive. Marketing is very expensive. Yeah. So um apart from referrals, do you have any other any other uh, do you have any other way that you get uh, your your business from? You have social media. Yes. And it's it's one of the best tools that ever been you know put in our hands. Um, choose the best photos, the best work that you have, mm -hmm. and post. You know, keep posting about your work. Uh, mainly, you get you get your your work and your business from social media and referral. And referral, and, and then and then, what's the average guest in a wedding? Uh, probably yeah. three to five hundred. Yeah. That's the average. Yeah. Uh, then you have the bridal party. Yeah. The bridal party, they are they are they are um, they definitely future future client client. Yeah. They they look at how you deal with the situation. You know, if you're not losing your temper, you're very nice. Mm -hmm. Talk to everyone. You, the way you think is different. You're artistic in your shots. At least two or three of them, they mm -hmm. would want your number. Yeah. So bam, you present your card. You have the guests. You present your card, and you have clients. How do you go about your your, your brand? Do you run it as a brand, or do you run it as a company, or how do you go about that? I have. I have my name, uh -huh. Emmanuel Jumbo, and um, I have M Studios. M Studios. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's both registered, uh -huh. and uh, but basically, like there's some um, some projects that I'll do it personally, uh -huh. you know. As Emmanuel Jumbo. Yes, you know, you you know you have different prices uh -huh. or not, and then your studio is is something that that. That's a company. It's still a brand, yeah. but that's a company aside from you. Yeah. For instance, if, if I cannot be doing everything, you know, yes, you can always have uh, a couple of guys that yeah. you trust and you can send, you know, and and um, and all this internship we do with it at the studio. Same thing. Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. Uh, that's basically when the two comes in. Emmanuel Jumbo and M Studios. They they interning at M Studios, but I'm the one who's uh, mentoring them. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's good. And um, have you uh, have you specialized? Like, uh, is there like a particular form of photography that you do? And is there like um, let's let's say uh, are there things that you can uh, things or events or something like you cannot shoot as Emmanuel Jumbo as M Studio? Yeah, mm -hmm. definitely. Like um, the stuff that I, I shoot uh, in person are are like certain weddings, you know. And that goes back to like earlier when you said the pricing, mm. when knowing your worth. There are some, you know, sometimes you don't want to turn clients away, and but they, they, they have to be in agreement that you're sending your good people, you know, your mm. from the studio. Mm. You're sending them to shoot this wedding or this event. I don't shoot any event. Mm. I, I um, been in the business for a long time. You tend to. To do things that you're really interested in, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. like uh, I, I don't shoot food anymore. I used to shoot food before, yeah. you know. I used to shoot a lot of <laughs> things that now I don't, you know. Yeah. From my interaction with the business coach and my mentor Emmanuel Jumbo, I've learned, uh, I, I, I've learned a lot, a lot. Uh, I've learned. Um, uh, how I can get my business from a brand, uh, my, my, my photography from just a brand uh, to a business. Uh, 
uh, front where I've learned how to um, how to interact better with clients, how to gain more clients, um, how to utilize my current situation if, if I'm, at, um, I'm at a particular job, how to utilize that that time and interact more and get clients from that particular business. Um, I've learned a couple of things um, in lighting, especially especially on studio, because that has been one of my weakness. Um, I've learned a couple of um, a couple of, uh, of pointers uh, on how to improve the quality of photos um, that I that I offer clients. Uh, so basically, this has been such an enlightening uh, experience. Uh, so thank you, uh, business coach, for having me. Um, and this is a promise I'm making to you. Uh, next time you come to me, you will um, you'll, you'll you'll see some huge huge uh, improvements um, in terms of basically just in terms of um, making this from a hobby to a business. So thank you very much for having me. Thank you for having watched The Business Coach. Hope you've learned a thing or two about the photography business through my interaction with Festus earlier on and also Festus' interaction with Emmanuel Jumbo. Please share with us your feedback through our social media handles that are running below the screen. And remember to always keep it right here on The Business Coach, where we help entrepreneurs better their business. See you next week right here on KTN Home.